Howdy. This is the Gene Machine, coming at you live from the corner of my room. And, uh, okay, okay, look, I'm not even gonna really give you guys an intro or anything, because there is just so much to talk about with these ads today, and so I'd rather just get to the point, you know? So, today we have You May Academy, a more recent title with some questionable ads. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the first ad. Now, uh, before we begin, I just want to make this clear. If you've already noticed the striking similarities of this ad with ads from a certain other game, yes, there is a bigger meaning to this, and yes, I will be covering it later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, to best summarize this ad, an old rich lady gives a butt-ton of cash to two kids, and they each spend their money a different way. One of them spends it on a gotcha machine, and then gets scolded by the lady, and the second guy spends his money on an education, and ends up becoming so powerful that his coat clips through the chair. And the ad ends with the old rich lady begging for the kid not to leave her. Uh, did that make any sense to you guys? <laughs> yeah, me neither. There's just so much wrong with this ad. I mean, first off, just to clarify, a nobobess, according to Google's side definition, just means a rich woman, though that's not really the real definition of it, but whatever. Second, you can tell whoever made this ad clearly isn't from the United States, but had to make this ad for English speakers anyway, because right off the bat, the text of the money shows the dollar sign on the right side of the amount as opposed to the left, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you learn what side it properly goes on in, like, kindergarten or something. Speaking of that money, why is she giving them all of that? <laughs> There's no real explanation to it. I mean, the only thing that can be assumed here is that she's a sugar mommy or something. Next up, regarding the kid spending his money on a gotcha machine. First off, why did one capsule cost a hundred grand? And more importantly, why did he lose in that situation? He got a nice car, a pretty girlfriend, and so why did he lose? I mean, he did seem pretty happy with it, and at the end of the day, isn't that what matters? <laughs> anyway, speaking of the gotcha machine, why is the ad treating the kid like he loses if he spends money on gotcha? The game that the ad is trying to market is literally a gotcha game. Like, they're basically saying, you shouldn't spend all your money on a gotcha game. But anyway, hey, come spend money on our gotcha game. <laughs> Next, regarding the other kid, this was probably the most confusing part of all. As far as we're aware from what the ad is showing, the old rich lady was a nice person. It seemed like she was just handing out money to be a good Samaritan. Uh, unless, again, she's a sugar mommy, but that's beside the point. So why is it that at the end of the ad, the kid brushes her off like you're better off without her? Usually in these types of scenarios, the whole message is that what goes around comes around, but in here it's just like, hey, thanks for the money, bitch. Anyway, get your poor people hands off me. And the last thing I want to mention is that, well, this ad has absolutely nothing to do with the game itself. Nothing. Not one bit. So that begs the question, what was even the purpose of this whole thing? In the second and final ad I have for you guys today, you're tasked with choosing qualities that you want in a girl, and after finding the right qualities you're looking for, you find out the she, uh, she cheated on you? Uh, hang on. Hang on, let me collect my thoughts for a second. Anyway, after leaving like an absolute beta cuck, you help up this woman who slips on a banana peel, and as your reward for helping her, she gives you a, a, a house? I, I can't, I can't do this. The ad then shows the player designing the house, and it ends off with the guy seeing a cute girl while he's cleaning up trash bags on the ground for some reason. Jeez, and I thought the first ad was bad. For starters, why does the first girl look like she's about to bust a nut? Also, does the girl he pick and the girl who cheats on him, are they different people? Or are they just the same girl? And the developers couldn't bother to make a model for her and just use one of their few assets. If they are the same girl, uh, then that makes no sense. Because one of the qualities is that the girl is wise, and ain't no wise girl gonna think cheating is a wise choice. The next thing I want to mention is the lady giving a freaking house to the kid for helping her up. Aside from how stupid that is, does this mean that this ad is a prequel to the first ad I showed? If so, that only proves further how nice of a lady she is. She gave him a hundred grand and gave him a house. This kid is so ungrateful, let me tell you. Just as the last ad was, this ad makes no sense at all, and yet again, doesn't explain the game at all. Although I will say, this ad shows you designing a house, which really comes off as misleading as you don't actually do anything like that in the game. Now. You may have already noticed that these ads are very, very similar to that of the ads from the game Girls X Battle 2. You guys remember that game, right? So you might be wondering why these two games have such similar ads, and surprisingly there's a deeper meaning to this at face value. 
You see, if you go to the reviews on Yume Academy's Google Play page, you'll see some people mentioning that this is just a reskin of Girls X Battle 2. And I mean, they're not wrong. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two games. Yume Academy on the left, Girls X Battle 2 on the right. They are indeed the same game. And well, according to the developers, there's actually a reason for that. You see, Yume Academy exists because the game was authorized by the original developers of Girls X Battle 2, and according to them, Yume Academy runs smoother, has a better interface, and that's it. So essentially, there's a carbon copy game of Girls X Battle 2 because the UI looks nice and the game runs better. And on top of that, you can actually transfer your progress between the two. Now on the surface, that sounds fair, right? Except it's not. You see, first off, on the Yume Academy Google Play page, the only mention of Girls X Battle 2 is in the developers' responses to those one-star reviews. Yume Academy and Girls X Battle 2 are for some reason on two different company pages, which there's no valid reason as to why that should be, especially considering Yume Academy is the only game on one of their pages. Furthermore, an interface in a game is something that can be changed with a game update. So there's no real reason why Girls X Battle 2 couldn't have just updated their game with the new interface. And finally, the whole thing about smoother gameplay, that's not a valid excuse either. Games can and have gone on a few days maintenance to update their engine for a smoother game. For example, back in around 2015 or 2016, a game called Brave Frontier went on a few days maintenance to update their engine. And as you might have already guessed, the game became faster, smoother, and had a smaller file size. So it's not like games haven't done this before, and so there's no reason Girls X Battle 2 couldn't have either. So essentially, a reskin of Girls X Battle 2 was released for a faster, smoother experience and a better interface, despite both of those things being able to be updated in Girls X Battle 2. And that's topped by the fact that Yume Academy is on a separate company's page with no mention whatsoever, with the exception of responses to reviews, of Girls X Battle 2. Now, as an observation, and by that I mean this is only a theory and not a fact, so please don't take what I say is true, but an observation I came to that there might be a different reason that this game exists. My theory is that they might have done this to garner an audience of people who passed on Girls X Battle 2. For example, say Joe Mama saw Girls X Battle 2 ads and as a result passed on trying the game. Well, now no matter how many times Joe Mama sees anything to do with Girls X Battle 2, he's going to skip it and pay no attention to it. So if another game is out there, such as, say, Yume Academy, well, now that's a second chance to get a download from Joe Mama, and as a result, a new player, and possibly more revenue. Now I will say, however, this observation is flawed because it wouldn't be a very smart idea to try and do that while running ads for Yume Academy that are nearly identical to Girls X Battle 2, so that's especially why I say, don't take my theory as the truth. So yeah, that's some ads from Yume Academy. Question is, should you still download the game? Uh, no. What are your thoughts on the ads? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and as for myself, I typically am fine with cheesy ads that don't make a whole lot of sense, but this is pushing it way too much. Like seriously, the line was crossed after the first second of the ad. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching the video. Do you have an ad you'd like to see make it onto a video and or want to join an active community that shares the same feelings towards mobile game ads as you do? <gasps> feel free to join the Discord, link to which will be in the description down below, and feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at GeneMachine99. And most importantly, I dream of this channel one day being an influence in the crackdown on mobile game ads, so if you want to help me see that become a reality one day, be sure to subscribe. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay real.